Three years ago, Yoni Wolf came into class 238 and said, hello, Mrs. W, and he was my third wolf. I have been so lucky to get to know him and get to know all of his silly anecdotes, his fun class discussions, and have him as a person to kind of be my devil's advocate. I know he's going to make great, great waves next year. Good luck. Meira, Kishmech Kachat, you are as your name suggests. You are Meira et Cheder. You come in and light up the room with your smile. You are kind and caring of your fellow students. You're quiet in the classroom, but you're always conscientious and you always make sure to let your teachers know if you're going to be missing class so that you can keep up with everything that we're doing in class. I wish you at Slacharaba in high school and I will miss the or the light that you emanate in the classroom. Joseph Bear, I want to wish you a mazel tov on your graduation. It has been incredible, incredible teaching you and learning Chumash with you this year. You're an incredible person. You are an artist. Take your art out into the world. You've got a great sense of style. Take that out into the, into the world. And just like Yosef HaTzadik in the Torah, who went out into a, a world that was strange to him, and he, and he brought his creativity, his flair, his abilities, and his talents, and he brought it out to the world, Joseph Barry, you do the same. I'm so excited to see what your future will be like and all the great adventures that you will have in your life. And they, Mazel tov on your graduation. My name is Dr. Stern and I teach Jewish history and I have the pleasure of addressing Colony Epstein. Colony, on the outside you are small and adorable and shiny. And on the inside you have a beautiful, gigantic personality and an even bigger heart. You're a model of Menschlichkeit. You're constantly doing chesses with tremendous dark errands. You show a genuine concern for social justice, and you know how to relate to every student and adult in a way that makes them feel comfortable and feel valued and respected. And you're also, by the way, smart as a whip and very funny. Kalani, I wish you every blessing, and I'm so excited that you're moving forward and will inspire others with your amazing kindness and intelligence and humor in your very bright and shiny future. Toby! I have the honor and privilege of saying a little bracha to you on this graduation. And you are our resident Kohen of the Minion, which means you are our spiritual leader. And not only that, you are our spiritual organizer. You do an amazing job every morning, making sure we are ready for tefillah and kriyata Torah and serving in your holy role of leading Am Yisrael. Keep it up. Hi, I'm Mrs. Moskowitz. I am so lucky to be here to be speaking about Talia Ga. Talia has a certain energy that she brings with her whenever she enters into any classroom or walks down any hall here at Berman. Her passion and desire to fight for what's true and emet is remarkable. Her positive attitude and willingness to help anyone around her, whether it be a friend, a stranger, a teacher, is truly an inspiration. Talia, I wish there were a hundred of you here. I hope you have a great summer and a great year next year. Hi. Um, one day we're going to find Eden Gershman's name in lights on Broadway. She is going to be a famous actress. She doesn't do too much acting in my classes, but I know when she gets on the stage, she loves to sing and dance and act. I've known Eden for three years, from sixth grade science through two years of math and it's been a pleasure to have taught her. Eden, I don't want to say to you the, the famous line before you go on the show, break a leg, because in your case, we know what happens. Have a great year in high school. Lizzie Glick has the most contagious smile. She walks through the hallways and brightens people's day. She spends a lot of time with her friends who are very important to her and she's always there to make sure that they're doing okay. She's a very caring friend, likes to say things that make her friends happy and laugh. Lizzie Glick, your contagious smile and laughter are going to be missed from the middle school hallways. It is always a pleasure to teach students like Leah Lerner. 
When I taught Leia English in seventh grade, I remember being blown away by the sheer number of books that she read each week. Her enthusiasm for English literature is contagious. Leia has a deep understanding of all that she reads, and she's also a lot of fun to have in class. We'll miss you next year. Hi, I'm Mrs. Nadell and I teach cooking and nutrition. I wanna tell you why Benjamin Logan is a dream student. He comes to class, he's excited, he wants to know what are we gonna to learn today? And he wants to learn it and he wants to do it and he wants to make it happen. And everybody should have every student like that every day and I'm going to miss him. I've loved working with Jamie this year because he looks at everything we discuss through his own unique creative lens and comes up with incredibly powerful metaphors and similes that he adds to his writing. He also loves to learn and I remember at the beginning of the year I introduced him to vocabulary.com and I think he played it so often that it was the first time in my history as a teacher that I actually had to tell a student to stop learning vocabulary words. I wish Jamie much success in the upper school and I look forward to seeing him in the hallways next year. Eva will one day be a famous actress and I will tell people that I was her teacher. Eva has a penchant for it. When I taught Eva in 6th and 7th grade, I saw Eva act in our Ivrit Sichot conversations and Eva was able to speak well, she was able to improvise and to often make us laugh. Eva, as Shakespeare once said, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. Eva, I wish you b'hatzlacha in the upper school. I can't wait to see you act in one of the upper school plays. Hi, my name is Mrs. Rubin, and I'm here to, talk, to tell you why Andrew Amos is a wonderful student in our school. Andrew Amos has the midot of Kibbut Hazulat, respect for others. He is respectful to both teachers and students. He greets everyone with a smile and talks in a nice, soft voice. Amos is also curious and likes to explore and learn. When we had a project in Ivrit about animals, he did a wonderful work telling in Hebrew how hard it was to train his dog. I wish Andrew Amos good luck in upper school. Mayor, when I see you sitting there with that twinkle in your eye, I just know you are about three steps ahead of me. And in fact, frequently, you steal my thunder by saying exactly what I was going to say about three or four minutes later. Not only that, you have an amazing knack for concisely stating big ideas and answers to questions that are complex. So I give a lot of space for students on assessments to write what they think. Unless you go to 64 size font, I doubt that you will ever use that much space. So Mayor, my baracha for you is that your attention to detail catch up with your very strong intuitive powers. And then you'll be about six steps ahead of me. I was fortunate to have Maura Shah Rabinowitz for two years in World Studies. I think we all know that she is kind, funny, intelligent, and all around awesome. But she also gave me so much extra work to do for the reasons you may not think. During each unit of study, Maura Shah would share a book or piece of information that was so fascinating that I would go home and look it up on my own. Thank you for teaching me so much. Best of luck next year and keep on challenging your teachers. It has been a pleasure getting to know Michal Reed. When Michal joined our school last year, it was a major transition. Little did we know that this was going to be one of our most hardworking students who was gonna have tremendous success. In addition to her many extracurricular activities like ice skating, Michal is known for her hard work and detail-oriented products. She is a great writer and will always make sure to follow directions to any assignment, no matter how long it takes her to get things just right. We'll miss you, Michal, next year. Hatzlacha. Hannah, my bubbly, fun, smiley, excited student, 
who, whenever we mention the city of Worms, is so excited to talk about Worms. It's amazing. I love every minute that you are excited to be in our classroom and that you bring a lightness and a freshness to our class. And I'm gonna miss you next year when you are not uh, in my class anymore. And I wish you the best of luck next year. Mazel tov to Elion Topolowski on graduating eighth grade. We're very familiar with the character traits that Hashem put in this world of chesed and givura. Chesed is a bursting forth of goodness and bounty and energy, and givura is the capacity to channel that. Elion, you're someone who brings a tremendous amount of chesed to the classroom, and almost more amazing than the chesed that you've demonstrated is the givura that you've demonstrated to channel yourself and your energies into a learning for yourself, for the classroom and making the world a better place. You should continue to merge together your talents with this tremendous performance and make yourself and everyone very proud. Mazel tov. Hi, my name is Mrs. Madar Lazarus and I'm here to tell you why Sally is a wonderful student at our school. Sally has the midah of kavod lazulat, respect to others. I know this because when I taught Sally in sixth and seventh grade, she was always respectful to her friends and to her teachers. The Midah of Kavod Lezulat is important for being successful in life because it helps us build long-lasting friendships and strong community. Sally certainly takes this Midah seriously. Sally, I wish you great success in the upper school. Be'atzlacha. Ben Winters, a.k.a. Dove Bear Winters, a Gavaldiga Talmud who learns constantly. Don't think that Ben Winters' razzle-dazzle is only on the basketball court. Not at all. His real razzle-dazzle is when he's learning. He learns with tremendous concentration, asking questions, answering questions, thinking things through. Dove Bear, we sure will miss you, and if, hmm, maybe we shouldn't pass you this year so I can have you again. Ah, okay, maybe not. We certainly will miss you. Thank you so much for a great three years.